University of Manchester graduates have gone on to change the world. Michael Smith did this by breaking stuff. Breaking stuff isn't always a bad thing, in fact we can learn a lot from it. Imagine breaking your laptop's fan and then trying to play Age of Empires 2. Your laptop would quickly heat up and perhaps melt your motherboard. Using the powers of scientific deduction you could conclude that the fan kept your laptop cool. That was its job. Now Michael Smith worked in the world of DNA and genes. Scientists at the time wanted to figure out what each gene did. So Michael Smith developed a method that could break the DNA exactly how and where he wanted. By breaking each gene one at a time we can figure out the function of each gene. Michael Smith named this breaking technique site specific mutagenesis. And to understand this we need to do a quick crash course in genes. A gene is just a length of DNA that contains the instructions to build something in the cell that is functional. So in a way, a gene is like a recipe, and your whole genome is a cookbook made up of over 20,000 recipes. DNA is a double-stranded molecule with mirror image instructions written into each strand, which is a bit like having a recipe book where every recipe is written twice. This helps the cell make sure there is no mistakes in the recipe because each recipe can be checked against its mirror image on the other strand of DNA. When the cell divides, each of the daughter cells needs a recipe book. So the cell's typists each take one strand of DNA and replicates the cookbook. Now the typists know that the recipes should be the same and so scientists found it very hard to put a specific targeted error into the recipe book. What Michael Smith found was that you can make changes to one of the copies of the recipe book and as long as it was a small change in the middle of a sentence it will go unnoticed. Once the change has been incorporated into the daughter cell's recipe book, scientists can see what happens to the cake or muffin that the recipe coded for and what effects that change has on the cell. This small mid-sentence editing technique was developed and published in 1978 but is still readily used today. It's almost impossible to gauge the importance of Michael Smith's research. This technique has had huge impacts on nearly every biological research field, ranging from viral and bacterial research to the development of new treatments for cancer. This technique is even used to create enzymes for your washing powder that are stable enough to clean your clothes in the tough, hot environment of your washing machine. So whether you are admiring the stain removing power of your laundry powder or receiving new medicines developed using our understanding of genes, you can thank Michael Smith for breaking stuff.